Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, uh, it's already been a week that I've been playing around with the Lenovo Y70 Touch uh, laptop, which is a gaming system. And uh, some good and some negative feedback. So let's actually get started on the review. The 17.3 Lenovo Y70 Touch is an elegant looking gaming laptop priced at $1400 for those looking to get into mobile PC gaming. It's fairly slim for a gaming system and weighing about 7.5 pounds, I can't find myself calling it an ultra portable laptop. But with its brushed aluminum exterior, red outlining design, honeycomb vents and a backlit keyboard which contributes to the polished look making it a sleek design for any PC gamer. Now having a 10 point touch display for a gaming system is really rare nowadays, but I didn't find myself using it at all. So having this feature was really useless. I was very disappointed that it only had 720p integrated camera, but the fact that it has 16 gigs of memory with an i7 8 core processor and an Nvidia GeForce GTX 860M 4 gig processor the 720p camera doesn't hurt the laptop at all. For storage, Lenovo has outfitted the system with an 8GB solid state drive to boost performance and combining it with a 1TB 5400 RPM hard drive to install all games and run them locally. So I had a chance to do a full benchmark on this particular laptop. I used 3D Mark for the benchmark and I did the Fire Strike which gave it uh, 3404 for a score. And the Fire Strike is for high performance gaming PC. So the score is really low for that particular category. Uh, the Skydiver, which is for gaming laptops and mid range PCs, gave it 10,799. And for a basic notebook and home PC, which is the CloudGate performance test, it gave it 12,908. So with, with these three scores, this laptop itself is a great mid-range PC for gaming. It, it's, it's a nice little entry-level laptop for individuals like myself that are getting into the gaming world. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of game uh, gaming on this particular laptop. And uh, I just downloaded something from the Microsoft Store. Uh, this is one of my son's favorite car games that he loves playing on, uh, on the tablet. So... I just want to show you guys the graphics and the look of it. I'm just going to pick this Dodge Dart GT and start the race.
Oh, got first place. All right, guys, so that is my review on the Lenovo Y70. Uh, final thoughts on the laptop. One, it's a great entry-level gaming system for those individuals that want to get into the world of gaming and you want to be mobile, this is great. I don't recommend using this laptop without a power cable because the battery drains quickly. Uh, as you can see at the chart, the chart right here breaks down of how fast my um, battery drain when I first used it. Again, I started on 82% and only lasts between two and a half to three hours, but the charging was extremely fast. It's, uh, it's a gaming system that you just set up, plug up, leave it plugged up and just start playing games. Uh, one of the things I don't like about the laptop is all the crapware that is installed. Again, it's part of the company that installs all that nonsense, but I do recommend wiping it clean, reinstalling uh, the latest and greatest operating system. Maybe Windows 10 will work extremely great on this laptop, and I think it would. Uh, or maybe a Linux platform, which is great. Uh, it has everything, the 16 gigs, the processor, uh, multiple ports to, to, uh, to plug in USBs. Uh, the surround system is great. It, it is power, I believe, with uh, JBL surround. So, I mean, it's great. I mean, it's a great entry-level laptop for only $1,400. You could probably get a little cheaper in Amazon for maybe, I would say, thirteen to $1,200, depending on where you go and shop. But uh, out of a five-star rating, I would give this laptop about three and a half stars. And the only reason why I'm giving it three and a half stars is because... The battery is real major concern for me. It runs out real fast. Um, in certain instincts, I did have a couple hiccups with playing the video game. It did freeze up. It did freeze up on me a couple of times. Uh, starting time was a little slow for me. The ability to touch the screen is pretty cool, but it is not really useful at all with a gaming system. How often are you going to actually play a video game that's going to consist or uh, need to touch the screen? I didn't really use it at all. Uh, other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, review on the Lenovo Y70 Touch, which is a gaming system. Uh, if you have any comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next review. Peace out.